morning guys well it's afternoon but we're headed on our way to brunch with Elise's family so that's gonna be awesome woke up a little later than expected but I'm well rested we, I went to bed at about I'd say by 5 5 30 I feel great though so that's awesome um Elise is tired I'm tired but um yeah but all right I think about an extra hour of sleep did do us good yeah um, obviously at least driving. Um, I decided. Well, Taylor did drive. For I, I about drove eight hours. Yeah, yesterday. eight hours yesterday. I thought, uh, give myself a break today. And I'm enthralled with Mocking Jay. I can't stop reading it. I really can't. It's amazing. Can't believe I couldn't read it on my other phone. But it's awesome. I love it so much. It's so good. I cannot wait until Catching Fire comes out and then um, Mocking Jay will come out and it's going to be incredible. And well, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see both of the movies, okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. Um, it's a pretty nice day, besides for the fact that it's cold. Like, up it's not that, that cold, though. I think it's a bit cold. Well, compared to when we were in the country yesterday, that was yeah. cold. I was wearing the country is cold. It's still freezing. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, cold in the country. It's always a couple of degrees colder. Feeling good, though. Come, like, can't wait to spend today with Elise's family and then get home and get both of the vlogs edited and up for the last two days. It's gonna be good. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now. I'm, I'm just like, my mind's like, read Mockingjay, read Mockingjay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do that. If you haven't read the Hunger Games books and you think you would be interested in it, go out and read them because they're pretty good. I like them. So as we're driving along, Elise just mentions petrol prices and how they've gone up. Obviously, they raised petrol prices on the weekend because they figure, I don't know. I don't know what they figure. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, so petrol in the country is like 20 cents more expensive per litre than um, in the suburbs. So yesterday, yesterday in the suburbs, on Saturday, um, it was $1.29 for a litre of unleaded petrol. And then you go to... Um, the country and it's a dollar 49 but also in like the city obviously they raise the prices as well and that's a dollar 49 that's crazy like 20 cents per litre and they want to try and get people to move to the country because like in Melbourne where we live the city's pretty packed and more people are moving here so they always try the government's trying to get people to move to the country but it's like, expensive it's yeah like Taylor's sister reckons yeah. it's more expensive even though like house prices are cheaper. Um, and the crazy thing is, Melbourne and the surrounding suburbs is already a pretty expensive place to live. Mm. Like, if you're not Australian, maybe even if you are Australian, it'd be quite a bit more expensive. I don't know. But if you come from America, trust me, stuff's like really expensive here. It's ridiculous. It's um, it's actually really crazy when you think about it, isn't it? Like, compared to, like, as I watched a couple of daily vlogs from the US and stuff is so much cheaper. Yeah. I've told you about it before and it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? But you know what I um, read the other day? What? Um 85% of medical costs or doctor visits or something are now bulk billed. So, In Australia? Yeah, so I think we do It doesn't have, make up for the high price. No, it doesn't but, make up, but like, I, I don't know whether we have, like, I don't know enough about it, but I think that we have some social services that other places don't have. Yeah. Oh, we're fortunate. We have a really good healthcare um, system. It's not the best in the world, but I mean, I can go to see the doctor for free and I can get most medications subsidised heavily. So it's a good thing. Like Australia's a good country, but yeah, Melbourne's pretty expensive. Sydney's expensive, but it's worth it to live here. I love this place. Like even if I could, I wouldn't move somewhere permanently. I, I would want to stay here. Like it's always come back here. Yeah. Yeah. It is. If you get the chance, come to Melbourne because it's really special. I think. Yeah. It's like so multifaceted as well. Like so many different things. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna stop bragging about where I live. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's it's really good actually. Also, I've been so busy this weekend that I forgot to tell you guys that I got the S3 from my mum. So it's awesome. I love it, first of all. I've got this cool case that's like magnetic and very thin, but it's so good. I already have root access to it, so I've already got my screen recording program and I've already downloaded a whole bunch of the games that I do for Android. 
it is so much better that I cannot even tell you. I was an idiot to not just go out and spend the money on getting an S3 because the touchscreen makes every single game that I thought was just a crappy developer or even that just I knew that the touchscreen was bad on my other phone so it made it hard to play. It makes every game so smooth, so good, so easy. I'm in love with the phone. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely an Android and Apple fangirl these days. It's good. It's just like I don't hate PCs. I use Macs predominantly because I'm in a creative field. Obviously, I do video editing and I uh, have a photography business. So I like PCs too, though. And if I if I could like afford to go out and buy an awesome gaming setup like a PC, I would. But I can't. So I, and I will when I can. Definitely. So I love my S3. And yeah, I might be getting an S4 later this year. We'll see what happens. So that's exciting. Um, it's making my work so much easier and it's gonna make me so much more productive that I wish I had have done it a while ago. But then again, I don't really, you know, I've got it now. So it's just made, made me really happy, like just sitting there and playing these games. It used to take me forever and passing so many levels so quickly. It's just the best feeling in the world. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was just um, Elise's mum, cafes. Elise's mum and her sister. Yeah, because two of my friends from high school work at two different cafes, like a block from each other. So we've got to visit both of them, or otherwise it would be mean. Yeah. Um. So now we're going to your grandparents. Are you yeah. Excited. Yeah, it's nice meeting around this area. It is. Seeing everyone. This is like where where Elise and I grew up. Yeah. Um. Sort of, but so yeah. it's now we live ages away. Familiar. Yeah. So. It's going to be a good day. I probably won't vlog much for a couple of hours now um, because then again, I don't know. <laughs> because we're going to be... It's, oh, <laughs> I was about to... But, I can't talk. What are you saying? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to end it now because I'm just going crazy. So we just went and picked up a few things from the supermarket for Elisa's grandparents. As you can see, it's getting later, later at night. It's not really. It's like five. It's about to get dark though. Probably going to leave soon because we're both really tired. But it's been awesome seeing Elisa's grandparents. I always love coming here, it's the best. Well and truly time for bed. We have, oh me, no, both of us, me and Elise, we had the most incredible yet tiring weekend that I'm gonna sleep like a baby. It's probably about one o'clock. That's purely because I was finishing Mocking Jay and I don't know how I feel about the ending of Mocking Jay. I might talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. But yeah, it was a little bit, oh, I don't know. So, it's time for bed for me. I cannot wait to put my head on that pillow and fall asleep straight away. It's gonna be incredible. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I uploaded both of the vlogs from yesterday. The um, Yesterday's vlog is just finishing uploading now. So, I'm ready for bed. Yeah, like I said, repeating myself because I'm tired. Hope you had an awesome weekend. I did, certainly. And hope you're doing well. I'll see you tomorrow.